Hello and welcome to the second part of my UMG tutorial series uh, within the Unreal Engine 4. My name is still Valhalla and last time we set up some references within the player controller class um, which were... let's have a look... oh I just see there's an error here um, we set up the creation of the widgets, the game hard, the main menu and the inventory as well as the play character reference. So the next step is I want to write it down right. Um, okay. For now I haven't put any of those widgets to the viewport. That is why I I'm not able to see anything which is of course uh, because I haven't added anything here and I haven't added anything to the hut via the Atto viewport call. Okay, this time we want to make um, a progress bar um, which represents the actual health ratio of one character. So, first of all, the character needs some values which represents its health. Let's go inside it. Oh, I forgot to... Bam! You haven't seen that. <laughs> um, I forgot to delete them. Um, okay, right back. Um, okay, the character will have uh, a variable which is the current health which is not boolean but is an integer for example don't need to um, and he has a second variable which is the max health as well as an integer um, I set them to private and I will provide a function where you can get um, the ratio from the outside of this blueprint class. So we add a new function and we call it get health ratio. So when we call this um, it will output us an health ratio which is not integer but float because uh, it is uh, from now to one um, so what we do here is simply dividing the current health through the max health value please uh, uh, make sure that you won't divide through null Oop. through null and because we want a value between null and one we want to do it we want to do the division with uh, resulting in a float and so this integer needs to be float as well but this will be handled by the blueprint system here automatically. So now when we divide current health and max health we will get our current health ratio and this will be the return node. Okay now we are able to get the current health ratio from out of the character class. Um, next step we will do uh, let's go inside the game art widget and um, I don't care much about the design here. Um, I will use a progress gra progress bar uh, and yeah I can edit the fill color to purely red and then yeah, the progress bar shall react to a value which represents the current health ratio. So we could 
now do something like that get player character and return value get health uh, get um, ah sorry uh, we would need to cast to my character and then we could do get health ratio so put it in put up those notes here this would do the magic but um, this maybe end up in a circular dependencies so in order to prevent that I thought about do a widget really have has to know about a character no he hasn't he just wants to have a value, float value from null to one to set up its health bar so we delete this, this and um, instead of those calls we will add a new variable which is the current ratio which is not boolean but a float and so okay that's it hmm. so the current ratio has no uh, uh, no connection to a character but we need to fill this current ratio with a value and this is done inside the uh, player controller but first of all let's add a new function oh sorry let's add a new custom event within the event graph of the game hard widget and call it update health Bar. Update. Health bar. Um. Update health. Okay, sorry. Um, maybe uh, because I tested that out uh, before I did this video, there's something still inside somewhere, which prevents me from naming it update health bar. Okay, update health bar will get an input, which is the current character health ratio Ooh. health ratio which is as well a float so and um, this incoming float will be given to our current ratio okay so the widget itself doesn't know anything about a player controller or a Play character, it just expects a value coming in to in order to alter this value here. Okay, let's close this and then <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's go back to the player controller. So here's the uh, graph of last time. Let's close this and Yeah, uh, I will create a new function, and I will call it in it uh, in it widget contents. Um, so inside the event graph, I will call it uh, right after the references. So, oh. Okay, init widget contents. In order to update our health bar, we need our current character reference. Get current character. So, we need to cast it to my character. Uh, I think it's already done here, right? Uh, I'm sorry. We don't need that. So, 
get current character and get health ratio. So now the player controller gets the health ratio of its current process uh, current character. Um, so the next thing is we get our game hard widget and simply call the update health. So now our play controller acts like an interface between the character and the game hard widget. So and we're just moving values around. So I call it init widget contents because this this is this should be done for everything, every widget which needs some context at contents at start. Um, so everything regarding some initial contents will be put here. And after this, uh, during gameplay, when there are some changes, for example, with the health of a character, this will be handled by uh, some other event. Maybe I will call them um, if the character takes damage notice the player controller and then uh, call the event for the progress bar to update it. So it only needs to be updated when there are changes. Okay, init widget contents. Um, oh, I forgot something important. So go back to my character. Max health. We need to set some, set up some uh, default values, just for our purposes here. Maybe the max health will be 100, and the current health will be 80, which means the item then will be resulted in null that eight. So 80% of the progress bar should be filled. Um, let's see if I have forgot something. Yeah, I forgot something. And that was the add to viewport. Um, back into the player controller, and yeah, we could do this in the init widget content. And let's say we do it here. So after we updated the help, we uh, we add this widget to viewport. Now we should be able to see it on screen. And let's see if it works. Yeah. So beautiful. Okay. Mm, let's test one more thing. Um, oh no, I, I think I will do it in one of the next parts. Um, I think that's it for now. Good reason to make a pause yet. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and it helps you some better for some better understanding. And hopefully we will see us next time. So, thank you for watching.